Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to One Night with Lanolin. I am your host, Lanolin, and we are back with part two of Magic Duels. We're cruising on with uh, what's basically the tutorial kind of campaign version, so let us continue. It's pretty fun so far. Like I said, whenever I play the uh, Duels with the Planeswalkers, I generally just kind of do the AI campaign, so so far I'm having a good time. Um, I mean, it's just a tutorial, so it's pretty straightforward, but, you know, it's, it's still magic, it's still fun, so... Let us continue. Akros has fallen under attack as harpies mercilessly swarm the city's walls. Every able-body able is needed. You and the other prisoners are released. The city's last hope to beat back the monsters. Wow, dude. You know things are getting pretty serious when they're letting all the prisoners out to go help fight things. That's... You can have multiple I hope to never see it that day. <laughs> to block a single attacking right, shut creature. Up. Usually, an attacking creature will deal all its damage to the creature that blocked it. But a creature with trample can deal its excess damage to the defending player. Oh yeah, dude. You'll One thing see trample lady, and group talk. blocking in action in this skill quest. Oh, to complete okay. it, block the incoming attack and win on your next turn. Gotcha. That's something I'd actually love to see in uh, in Hearthstone is trample. That'd be cool. <laughs> to block an incoming attack, click and drag one of your creatures to the attacking creature you want to block. Once you've selected all the creatures you want to block with, click confirm block. Got it. Yeah, that'd be really cool to have a, like, uh, a trample mechanic and other familiar card games. And we should be able to just kind of win off of this. Because this guy has trample, right? Trample, yeah. And then you are just a defender. Okay. I like it. But if I skip attack, does it get mad? It's like, um, you were supposed to attack. Please try again. Destroyed that wall. And destroyed the town. Oh, yeah. Great job. Great job. Okay. Now, well, back to the game. Normally. All attacking and blocking creatures oh, are we still doing skill deal quests? combat okay. damage at the same time. However, a creature with first strike deals its combat damage first before creatures without first strike. See, that's another interesting this means mechanic. A creature with first strike can often destroy an enemy creature before that creature gets the chance to hit back. In this skill quest, withstand your opponent's assault and attack on your turn. To seal your victory. Okay. We can do that. So we have Kindle Fury. Instant. Attack creature gets plus one, plus zero, and gains first strike until end of turn. Oh, okay. So we want to... Okay, so we're in the block step. We want to throw down this guy. Oh, okay, never mind. We want to choose to attack or block a with that guy. Down. Stop the timer. Throw down the Kindle Fury. There we go. Get blocked. So that means we actually we got the first strike down. Wow, that's actually really powerful. You know, I never thought about using uh, first strike buffs back when I played Magic. I mean, I wasn't very good at it, but you know, I kind of played with like friends and family and that kind of thing. I never thought to use first strike with uh, low health creatures against large large health creatures, and finish them off without losing my dudes. That's pretty smart. Got him. Easy game. Well done. First strike is advantageous on. All right, so yeah, first strike is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Whoa, see now the music is all weird. It's going in between loud and quiet. It's like it doesn't know what's going on. Elite Vanguard. Pretty good. I like it. What is that? It's all like... I don't know what that is. Every once in a while it'll just kind of like... Ugh, and then it'll be okay. But it's alright. Not a big deal. It should be okay. 
Okay, so so far lots of lands, pretty much just playing our little kitty cat guys. And actually, I didn't recognize you. Elite Vanguard. Oh no, 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 no. Just another 2 1. Just another 1 mana 2 1. Whoa. We're, we're getting to attack for free. I like it. Shiny. Now I want to look at this. Whenever another creature dies, tap Flesh Mad Steed. Oh, snap. Woodland Cemetery enters the battlefield. Tap unless you control a swamp or a forest. Okay, so it's not something you want to put out all by itself. Some cards have triggered abilities. Effects that happen when certain conditions are met. Alright, let's play the skill quest. Get that easy gold. Learn a little bit about the game. Some abilities trigger whenever something else happens in the game. These are really? called triggered abilities. Really? For example, many creatures have abilities that trigger when they enter the battlefield. Wow. If an ability Amazing. triggers on an event you can repeat, I'm such as playing a land, you can reap triggered. rewards every time. Complete this skill quest by using triggered abilities to defeat your opponent this turn. Okay. When Manic Vandal enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact. Are you an artifact? You are. Are you an artifact? Nope, but you're tapped. So I can go ahead and drop this. And it's gonna let me attack. Some cards of figured abilities, and I'll show again. Destroy the wall. Got him. Oh, why are you buffed? Whenever another red creature enters the battlefield under your control, oh, Foundry Street Denizen gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Oh, I like it. That's pretty sick. Sweet combos. Excellent. Get clubbed. Many creatures do. You beat the target, dummy. Hooray, we're the best. Whoa, crazy music. All right, so we got, wow, look more land, how convenient. We can drop our boy, the Eagle of the Watch. Has definitely been a workhorse. Oh, this guy flies too, and has double strike? Holy crap. He does first strike and regular combat damage. Damn, that's pretty good. All right, I'm letting both creatures go in. One will get blocked, but it's all good. He's going to die, which means we won't have to worry about his irritating little effect. Because he just won't be on the board. See? You can't tap if you're dead, son. Or rather, you can't be untapped if you're dead, son. So this costs five. We have four on the board. So we'll be able to drop Great Heart next turn. That's good. What are you dropping? Gloom Widow. Reach. Oh, no. You can kill my flying guy. And this flying guy. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. Nice. Okay, so let's actually play these and then continue. I don't... Yeah, I think I'm going to hold on. Hold off for now. I'm going to attack with all. Confirm attack. I'm going to let him declare his blockers. I'm going to throw down the Glorious Charge. He's going to kill that guy. Oh, wait, why didn't it kill him? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't pause it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I thought maybe if you were actually fast enough, you didn't need to stop the timer. Uh, but I guess not. I guess you do need to stop the timer to be able to play cards during that phase. Whoa, Forsaken Drifters. When Forsaken Drifters dies, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. Holy crap, that's pretty dangerous, man. Why don't they ever attack? <laughs> attack, damn it. You know what, I'm going to hold off on this. Oh, no! Oh, I wanted to hold off on that, man. Double strike. Creature has double strike. Deals damage twice in combat. Once when the creature 
deal first strike damage, and then again when the creature deals regular damage. It is possible for a creature to be destroyed before it can deal its combat damage. Alright. That's pretty good, but it only has 2-2. Two, two. I mean, I guess it kind of has 4-2, but that's still kind of spooky. It's telling me to just attack with that, really? Is it going to block with this? Hmm. I don't know if I agree with this, but I'm, I'm going to see what it does. Wow, it doesn't block at all. Interesting. Why would it not block at all? I guess it wants to make sure that its Gloom Widow stays alive. Alright, word, I'll take it. Here I am trying to be safe and not let my dudes get killed, but it turns out it's all good. Whenever another creature dies, tap flesh. Okay, yeah, so we already, we've already seen this dude. So now we're actually kind of up against the scary board. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, so you're flying. Okay. Each player loses one life. No, my perfect game. Two and two, so I'm gonna play this. Attack with all, confirm attack. Let him choose his blockers. Stop the timer, throw down the glorious charge. Make sure that everybody, yeah, so he's dead. And he gets to keep doing his damage. That's kind of what I was going for. This guy's going to kind of die regardless, but it's okay. That guy lives. Nice. See that? That was that was esports right there. That was a top top level play. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No, no, no. I think that was good actually. Cause this guy's, like, if this guy had to, like blocks with that guy, he's just gonna die. And this guy is gonna block either one of these guys. And I'm not really worried about that. No, he'll block this guy and kill it, which sucks. But that's okay. I'll have another one in the wings. I mean, he's going to lose four cards. Nice. Oh, wait. I guess if he's actually... Never mind. If he's blocked, even with first strike, I guess he doesn't actually do damage to the uh, enemy life pool, huh? Interesting. Oh, he has absolutely nobody on the board. It was all worth in the end. That's two. And two and two. So we, we don't win yet. But we're almost there. One health. Come on now, just give up. Just give up. Or play that card that both of us take one damage. That'd be hilarious. Sudoku yourself. Or some Puku. I forget its actual name. I've called it Sudoku for so long. <laughs> but now the meme has changed. Now it's the meme to correct people. Memes have changed. We're about to beat this guy up. Don't attack our place, man. We live here. Does that mean we actually, do we have to go back to jail? Forever. Oh no, we won. That means we earned our freedom, correct? Yeah? With your martial talents and magical skills, you managed to fend off the onslaught of voracious harpies. However, you hear, crawls for, uh, uh, you hear calls for help from the main gate. Before the harpies can regroup, you make your way along the walls toward the cries. 
Kaithian Yura. A terrifying cyclops approaches the main gate, and he's not alone. You and your irregulars are the only ones who can stop the monsters from storming the city. Fail to defeat them, and Arcros will fall. Succeed, and you will become a hero worthy of the gods. Oh, snap. Here we go. Terrifying Cyclops approaches the main gate, and he's not alone. I already read that. Just kidding. Alright, so we're learning a few more things before we begin. What's this one? Enchantments are oh, powerful yeah, okay, that's cards right. that stay on the battlefield. I'm like, what haven't I learned yet? Them. They have a wide range of effects. Some boost your creatures, while others make things more difficult for your opponent. Like most spells, you cast enchantment spells during your main phase. Word. In this skill quest, use the enchantment in your hand to win the game this turn. Oh, here we go. White creatures you control gain plus one, plus one. Honor of the pure. Oh, dude, we're so strong. Attack with everybody. Oh, yeah, you can't block us all, buddy. And yet we still are going to have to wait for all the animations. Or maybe not. Nice. Or blue. See, it, just should, it should just end the game. Why do I have to go through the block phase? <laughs> what? Great job. Enchantments are he powerful blocked with, why because would he their do effects that? last as Nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so what are we doing? We're fighting this ogre guy, right? Sounds good. Auras are a special type of enchantment. Oh no. Most Still attached more to a okay. single creature and affect no only that creature. The enchant ability will tell you what that aura attaches to. You can target any creature with most auras. Read each one to see how it affects the enchanted creature. If it has a negative effect, okay, I gotcha. you can choose to complete this skill quest. Find a way to win this turn. Positive and negative auras. Okay, you control six planes. Oh nice, I don't have the count. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each planes creature you control and has flying. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. Oh, well, that's easy enough. Do I have enough? Four, five, six. Okay, I do. So let me play this first. <laughs> it's like already pointing at it. <laughs> and then we're going to play Armor Ascension. We can fly. Oh, yeah. Confirm attack in the game. This guy just became like a god. <laughs> well done. One popular strategy is to use auras to make a massive threat to dominate the battlefield. And then it just gets hit with big game hunter and then you lose. Oh wait, does it? Wrong game. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Alright, so here we go. Now we should be fighting the ogre. Now are we do we have a few more? Some cards oh, put plus one plus one counters on creatures. Wow, we're a plus one plus one counter. <laughs> we're dealing with a lot of mechanics in this, in this next quest, fight. Your opponent. Right, so we have to win. Supply the cranes. Flying. When supply line cranes enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Easy enough. Oh man. <laughs> At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control five or more lands, put four plus one plus one counters on Scute Mob. Uh oh. So we need to win this turn, and we're just going to get absolutely just obliterated. But it's all good because we understand the mechanics and we win. Very nice. Very nice. Some decks are based on casting a creature and piling on plus one plus one counters until it's an unstoppable force. Unstoppable Try it force. 
try it sometime? I mean, I guess we're going to try it up here in this next game if you ever let us play it. Nope. Still more. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay. Now we're playing the game. Here we go. So we're fighting this guy. This big brutish monster thing. Our boys, the Elite Vanguard, coming in. Oh, okay. The, the traveling philosophers are on our side now. Good. Oh, nice. We got a glorious charge. So let me get some more planes. Um, and the traveling philosopher. Get a little bit of board out there. You know. And of course, attack. Got him. So we just need to do that nine more times. <laughs> oh, it's shiny. Where's my shiny cards? I want a holographic foil awesome card. Vigilance. Attacking does not stop or does not cause this creature to tap. Oh, so it's like my birds, these guys. Yo, Eagles of the Watch. Whoa, he's a 1 3 or 3 1? Holy crap, dude. I just noticed that. That's ridiculous. It's fine. Eagle of the Watch. And then we're going ham. We're going ham on this guy. You can see, he's going to kill one, but that's fine. I don't care. Because I'm still going to get the two damage in. He's not going to have any board. Oh, he's not going to block at all. That is fine by me, buddy. I'm not really sure what you have up your sleeve. But it doesn't really seem to be working out too well for you. Although, he can attack, and I won't be able to block with anybody but my, uh, but my eagle. And I don't really want to do that. Oh, wow, they're actually attacking. Holy cow. Obviously, I'm not going to block, because I want to keep this guy. He's important. Ouch. Okay, good to know. And he's playing the Blood Rock Cyclops. Blood Rock Cyclops attacks each turn if able. Ooh. Okay. We need to get this guy. Oh, there it is. Honor of the Pure. I kind of want to play this, but he's telling me to play Glorious Charge. No, no, no. We're not doing what the computer thinks we should do. We're doing what I think we should do. And I'm going to play some planes. I'm going to drop the Honor of the Pure. Oh, wait, I can do both? Oh, holy crap. I guess I can, huh? Fine, we're doing both. We're going ham, son. We're all inning. If he doesn't block, we win. <laughs> if he doesn't block, this was the easiest game ever. Okay, yeah, he has to block. Nice. That guy's dead, but that's all right. We get the Cyclops off the board, and we get the Bush Strider off the board. That was a pretty good turn. That was a really good turn, I think. Next turn, we can drop our Great Heart, which will come out as a 3-5. Whoa, Cyclops of One-Eyed Pass. That's pretty cool. He's a 5-3, that's what I said? 5-2. Not a super huge deal, but... He definitely challenges our great heart. So I think I'm just going to attack with uh, Eagle. Nice. Get some good damage on him. Everybody's happy. Everyone's safe. Here's the, like the downside to like what's cool about playing a deck that's focused on flying is that you can like kind of completely like counter people you know don't have any way to deal with people that are flying abilities but you can also get pretty shut down all right so give yourself some lands like that. more lands why do you need so much lands man how long will we sacrifice? Font of fertility. Search your library for a basic land card. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's an enchantment. Right, gotcha. And I 
think I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to attack with this. Oh, no, actually, yeah, we can win. Even if he blocks, I think we win. No. Yeah, we don't win if he blocks, but it's okay. Oh, man, so close. One health. <laughs> Cyclops is off the board. He has no board. Yeah. We got this. In the bag. Just pass. Surrender. Yep, he passed. Ooh. Oh, nice. We get to buff somebody up. Hell yeah, dude. We're going to buff up our kitty cat guy. Make him a 5-3. Hell yeah, dude. Time to win the game. Easy. Nobody to block. No one to save. Nice. Well played. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Crap. <laughs> Negative 10. Pretty good. So how do we do on gold? We're up to 265. That's pretty nice. Right, let's continue. Nothing to say. Your heroism at the gates of Akros did not go unnoticed. Heliod, god of the sun, seeks a champion to face an even greater foe. He offers you a sun-blessed spear and instructs you to destroy a mighty titan who serves Erebos, god of the dead. Well, unfortunately, you're going to have to see the god of the titans battle for yourself. Or the titans, the titan battle for yourself. Uh, because that is the end of this evening with myself, Landolin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we played Magic Duels. Seems pretty fun so far. Seems like a you know pretty familiar take on the Planeswalker series that they were doing for a long time. Um, like I said, they said that they or Wizards of the Coast said that they should uh, be focusing more on improving this game rather than doing annual releases of Duels of the Planeswalkers. So I have been Landolin. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this little mini series with Magic Duels. Be sure to tune in next week where we take a look at. Well, I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to find out. So thanks for watching, guys. I have been Landolin, Landolin and I will see you next time. Bye.